Welcome back. One artist is looking to make a name change. Mm. That story kicking off today's trending stories. It's time for Hot, Hot topics. topics. Yes. Kanye West filed court documents this week to legally change his name. He wants to be Ye. A judge must approve of the change before it becomes official. West, who called himself Ye on his social media pages for years, says along with being a shortening of his first name, he likes it. Uh, and, and he likes it. It's a word used throughout the Bible. West has been holding a series of stadium listening parties, including setting up one in his hometown of Chicago for his forthcoming 10th studio album, Donda, which is scheduled to be released before the end of the month. What do you think, Jackie? I mean, artist formerly known as Prince. <laughs> yeah. Puff Daddy, yeah. Diddy, P. Diddy. Yeah. I'm it's missing not a couple of Brother Love. I mean, it's not yeah. uncommon. Artists do change their names, and it seems like maybe they make even, dare I say, their best work when they do that yeah. so reinventing themselves maybe. reinventing themselves for sure i was wondering if it was yay uh -huh. or ye ye but it's yay i think it's yay i guess because kind of the bible yay. reference yay. yeah i think yeah and the bible reference i think i think we'll go with yay we'll see okay well we know that he has been doing these um listening parties yes he shows up two hours late and does like one song he or does. whatever he's got a stocking cap on he whatever does. he does have a lot going on uh just personally and right. trying to get his music out this donda album i feel like has been one that's I been thought, like on the wings forever yes and i thought he was going to release it maybe like three weeks ago and then it was like no it's coming next week next week so hopefully before the end of the month we get to hear well, that you can't rush you know you can't rush genius. genius that's right that's, right. that's what they say all right well reggae jean page is Offering to help you go to sleep. You're gonna want this. Yes, trust me. I am. Uh, the Bridges and Star is lending his voice uh, hey, to an app. Just, just take a listen. Tonight, I'll be accompanying you as we travel back through time to old. So here he is murmuring in your ears. Yes. Through a new story he narrates. He the reads The Prince and the Naturalist, available uh, on the Sleep app. Calm. Now his story launched uh, this week, so it is available. Other stars that have lent their voices uh, to Tales for the Calm app include Harry Styles, right. Idris Elba, and Priyanka Chopra Jonas. Page is set to return to the big screen in The Gray Man with Ryan Gosling out next year, and Dungeons and Dragons with Chris Pine in 2023. And yeah. I can just listen to this. I know that's for exciting. the rest of the day. He has. He does have one of those calming he voices. He does. He does. I wonder if they've reached out to someone like Gilbert Godfrey yet. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> not. <laughs> He's a voice I wouldn't uh, He could maybe help you go. I maybe. think he can tone it down a little maybe. bit. Maybe. Yes, maybe he can tone it down <laughs> a little bit. It's true. Uh, Charlie Watts, the unshakable Rolling Stones drummer, has died. Mm. Watts had announced he would not tour with the Stones in 2021 because of an undefined health issue. He joined the Stones early in 1963 and remarked over the remained over the next 60 years. Ranked just behind Mick Jagger and Keith Richards as the group's longest lasting and most essential member. Watts was a jazz drummer in his early years and never lost his affinity for the music he first loved, heading his own jazz band and taking on numerous other side projects. Charlie Watts was 80 years old. Will certainly be missed. Love his style. Yeah. I love hearing and, and learning that he was a jazz mm -hmm. uh, jazz drummer by by heart. That's what got him into it. So it's exciting, and I yeah. think that shows when you listen to the music. Yeah, for sure. Uh, that he, he made for sure.